Last week, Burlington Sue Murray was virtually awarded a June Colwood Outstanding Achievement Award for Volunteerism. I started uh, volunteering in 1980 at the Y as a children's swimming instructor. I went to put my kids into classes and found that they were short of instructors. Having been a lifeguard and a scuba diver myself, I um, jumped in the pool to help and to, took my instructor's training to become a, an aquatic fitness instructor because I knew there was a need there as well. So I started teaching the aquatic fitness about a year later once I had all my certifications in place. And she has continued volunteering there for the last 40 years. Now she's even specializing in hydrotherapy. When I got a call from the ministry saying that I had won the award and I was pretty excited because uh, when you, you know, put 40 years into an organization, but the award isn't just for my work at the Y. Uh, I uh, have done uh, 25 years of door-to-door -door canvassing for the Hort Heart and Stroke Association. And I've also, uh, I served on the Tansley Woods uh, Committee to help the Tansley Woods Centre be built. And uh, I've just done a lot of other things, small things that have sort of all added up over the years. I was a a beaver leader, for example, when my young kids were young. So anytime I had a chance to uh, jump in and help, uh, I was always trying to be there. She says in her little bubble of two at home, she was thrilled to receive such a beautiful award. She was inspired by her parents' involvement with the community, and over the years, she and her husband led by example for their children. Uh, we went all as a family for many years to the, Bur the Burlington Tea Night program where my sons uh, attended, but my husband and I supervised volleyball, basketball, ping pong, and we also did lots of one-on-one -on -one with the kids. So we did that as a family. She cultivated the love of volunteering and proudly shared. And then right now my uh, youngest son, Jason, and my granddaughter Ridley live in Hawaii, and they spend uh, many hours working at the Coral Reef Foundation as volunteers. Um, helping grow corals and retransplant them in the ocean. So they're highly involved in volunteer work, even halfway around the world. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.